This is DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. And the thing about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad is that it's kind of boring, but in a really, really exciting way. So the uh, beta for DaVinci Resolve on iPad is uh, in closed beta now. Several uh, creators, lots of creators have access to it and they're gonna be making videos all about it. I'm um, talking about um, comparisons, impressions, quick start guides, all of that. But in the short amount of time, I've had the iPad, been able to play around with it. Um, there are a few highlights, absolutely. But at the end of the day, the thing is that they just put DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I have a point and I'm gonna try not to talk around myself too much here. When you think about software being put on an iPad, when you think about an app version of existing desktop software, there are obviously so many different ways you could go about that process. And the general impression I'm getting is that a lot of people thought that they would just take features from DaVinci Resolve and use features to build an app. And that in several really important distinct ways, the app would have to be different because you know it's an app. And while as it stands, there are big differences between the full version of DaVinci Resolve and the app, the truth is that what we have in the app is what we have on desktop, just not fully the other way around. So on the app, we have the cut page and the color page. And if you want to know what the experience is like using those on the iPad, you should just open up DaVinci Resolve and use the cut page and the color page because that's what's on the app. Several of the times I've been using the app and thinking about it, like, oh, I guess this is a feature they don't have. Oh, I guess this is a restriction. I go back to desktop, test it there, and those are features that do not exist on the cut page on desktop either. I primarily work on the edit page. I'm used to that, and there are just some things that don't exist on the cut page there yet. And I do say yet yeah, because Blackmagic has been really upfront about this decision and how they're going to uh, move forward. They've said they're not bringing the full edit page to the iPad. They had a rationale for that, and I talked about that in a separate video. I will link that in the description. But along with that news, uh, they did say that they have big plans for changing the cut page across both the app and the full desktop version. And while certainly their priority for launch, um, I'm sure at this stage is still um, squashing as many bugs as possible and making the experience as it stands now good. This is coming from Blackmagic Design. Their pace of updates in Resolve is pretty wild. So I think we have no reason to expect any different on the app. And they also said in that previous statement that they do intend uh, to bring the full Fairlight and Fusion pages to the iPad. Although uh, if you look closely enough, uh, Fusion, Fusion is kind of on the iPad already. Not the page, you can't build Fusion comps from scratch. This might end up being its own video, but there are Fusion effects uh, included when you download the app. And I've been testing especially um, a lot of third-party uh, presets and plugins like mine. I have dozens of free presets and a lot of them I can just drop onto the iPad and dramatically increase the functionality of this free app. There are one or two key features that are still missing uh, on the cut page that would help you get the most out of those presets. But you know, I'm giving feedback on the beta, I'm doing all that, but I have really high hopes. I can throw pretty wild full fusion effects, you know, particle heavy uh, titles and all of that at this and it will cache and then play back on 4K timelines. But that's just an aside talking about fusion because I really like fusion. But looking at the app as a whole, it's pretty wild because it's just the tool we already know and love. And the reason I'm making this video um, is to set those expectations a bit. While I am completely ignorant of app development, when I boot up Resolve on the iPad, I'm not booting up a mobile app, I'm just launching Resolve. And you can see that in a lot of the sort of like side features here. You could export or import full DaVinci Resolve projects. You can start a project on iPad, edit something, save it out, open it on desktop and vice versa. And on the iPad, you can load into uh, cloud projects and work collaboratively at the same time in a project with people on uh, both iPad and desktop versions all around the world. That's still cool on its own. And then that's just like one thing you could do on the iPad. I know there are lots of people who would like to get their hands on the beta, but they did say that this is coming in a Q4 release. So the, the full release is coming soon. But like I said, in the meantime, if you want this experience, just load up Resolve, because that's what this is. DaVinci Resolve 
on an iPad. I am still very, very excited for full release, uh, mostly because I want them to start working on all these extra new features. I want them to bring uh, lots of stuff to the color page, especially you know on the audio editing side, lots of people want that. Give me that fusion overlay so you can uh, interact with my presets. And then, you know, that full Fairlight and fusion page, It'll be amazing. There is still lots I want to talk about um, about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, especially when it comes to those fusion uh, effects and presets. Stay tuned, some really, really exciting stuff. And especially at launch, um, I plan to have some stuff um, together to help people really get the most out of this. Um, at launch, do some cool stuff, bringing in the power of fusion, even though it isn't on the iPad, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. And I still want to make a video uh, running through some questions from uh, my last video about the iPad. So if you have uh, any questions about this at all, leave them below as well, and I will uh, bring those together and try to uh, answer answer all of those coming together. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.